here we are. And this is a big one, folks. MBL, one of the biggest names. It's maybe not in Hidden Cup already. He's one mm -hmm. of the motivating reasons why I started the whole thing many years ago, which we can maybe get to. But we've got MBL in the red. He made it through the max. He made it through Capwatch. He had a really tough bracket, Dave. And now he is up, Gan up against Ganji. But when the bracket was released, I don't think many people expected it to be Ganji. In this best of seven decider, Ganji was able to get past some big names, including Veleza, which was a shocker. So he's the underdog here today, but he's done it all before. It should be an amazing series. Yeah, and Ganji is particularly good on closed maps or maps where you can wall yourself off. So Gold Rush is one of those, right? And he's gone for the Boomy Civilization here. NBL's gone for the Malay, which usually capitalize on the timings. I think late game, Burgundians is definitely going to have a better tech tree than them. But the Malay usually get to imp first. Yes. And they usually have a castle forward. And then they're putting all sorts of pressure on you. So hopefully NBL plays for that style for his sake. And for Ganji's sake... He's going to have to really manage, you know, getting the eco set up. He's got a wonderful map for it. But getting the eco set up and then staying alive long enough to take advantage of that. Yeah. And there is another thing to mention here. So Ganji has this, this theme that I picked up on in his round against Ozone and then his round against Veleza, where it's like yeah. fairly standard, right? Everything makes sense. It clicks. And then it's like mid castle age where a lot of players are trying to transition towards imp ganji just drops castles and goes all in dude like he did it multiple times he did it on gold rush he dropped like four castles still in castle age so just something to yeah. think about here because i th actually think against mbl who usually thrives on taking map control from you i think that that could be a really fun style here I mean, maybe, but then if you make it crazy, that's the type of game that uh, NBL true. enjoys. Yeah, true. Like, we saw that whole set against Catwatch. That's the type of game that NBL just sits back and does his thing. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of what you want to avoid in a set versus him. You want everything to be very structured. That's that's true. Yeah, as structured and as meta as possible, and that's where NBL sometimes can struggle. Bro, um, I, I, I've been watching this patch. I just have to say, like... I, I've had so much energy from just watching players play on this patch yeah. today yeah. so far. Like that first game, it's funny how we've been conditioned. That first game, Vinchester versus Mihai, when they both had archers and they were both microing. And I was just watching on my phone. And as they're heading into the engagements, I'm thinking, you can't go there. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You're going to lose all your units. And then suddenly they didn't lose anything. They microed the way out of it. There was no regrouping. Yep. I was so happy <laughs> yeah dude yeah me too to point that out yeah so i was happy. so and just to clarify that for anyone who missed it so this is a patch just for the end of the qualifier and then the main event and they came to me and they were like hey like we we, we spent a lot of extra time working on this we can't release this to everybody necessarily but please give it a shot and it's your decision and mm -hmm. i played a bunch of games myself with it being my decision and i like Within the first 10 minutes, I was like, this feel, This doesn't even mm -hmm. feel like the same game. <laughs> it, it feels like the game of old, the game we had before the Disaster Patch yep. that's public right now. Also, but yeah, I agree with you. Like that Slopes game, Sato probably with the old patch, probably only killed six or seven bills there. He killed 16. Yeah. Yep, because yep. the archers didn't regroup a, a, million, a million times when he was trying to move forward. Yep. Yeah, I agree with you. I also think that uh, maybe even the meta on islands, right? Galleys versus fires. That could have an effect too. Mm-hmm. But uh, players have had time to get a feel for that. Should realize now that the units should be moving pretty effectively. And right now, Ganji doing exactly what we expected. He's going for the walls. Could go for greedier walls if he really wanted to, but normally in these instances, he just hasn't scouted. Oh, he did I don't scout think the woodline. He but... did see it, but he doesn't know if it goes all the way to the edge. If he knew that woodline went all the yeah, way to yeah, the yeah. edge, I think he goes out for that. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely the optimal way to wall, especially because you secure a relic. Yep. Should definitely wall like that, but I mean, he'll get to it eventually. So it is usually going to be a uh, fast castle light cap. So, so basically it's arena style and then booming for the Burgundians here. MBL is clicked up to feudal. No, and... MBL is uh, all in on the eight spearman build right now. To yeah. counter the light cap, he can't catch. <laughs> Eight spearmen build. I mean, he might make one because he did wolf rush before with a militia. And oh, this is actually really good from Ganji. He actually saves the scout here. That's really smart thinking because he he should nice. know the Malay are going to be up faster. 
All right, Dave. So talk What's to me. What's the stat here for MBO? I have no clue. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to talk to you about? Yeah, Tell I was going to say, I have no clue. I think MBL is going to go forward. This is like, this is nerves. I'm seeing nerves right now from MBL. I think he's going forward. So as we watch him walk forward, which takes a long time, I, what do you think MBL's mindset is, right? Because he has shown to me to put a lot of expectation on himself. There's a lot of fans, especially for Hidden Cup, who want him back. And... I just kind of curious on on like you think he's gonna get in his own head today or where he's at. I, I'm a little concerned for him that he may be too crazy here. Like if he tries to repeat the same thing he did against Capoch, not so sure will always lead to success against a player like Ganji. Well, I don't know where MBL's mind is. I don't think anyone knows where MBL's mind is. I don't think MBL knows where MBL's mind is. And from that is is the source of his greatest weakness and his greatest strength. Yep. At the same time. Yep. Uh, so, hang on a second, Tristan. I just saw unit outlines behind rocks. Oh, um, wait, wait, we'll get, that's we'll, a map thing. We'll get, that's a map thing. Okay. Okay. I, was I can. We can. There. I'm happy to talk about I thought that. It was a new patch. I, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But <laughs> I, 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 I like how. I like how that was such a big deal for you to bring up. It is. <laughs> it's game changing. I can't hide my demos anymore, bro. <laughs> we uh, will gladly talk to you about that because that was actually something that came up in map scripting. But there is a tower from MBL, and and I agree with your point. I agree. I think some people may consider it harsh, but anyone who considers it harsh doesn't know MBL. He yep. is. He is unique, he stands out, and we, we've been watching him too long to think that he could just play like everybody else, right? If he tried mm -hmm. to play like everybody else, he would not be where he is. So he goes for a tower, he goes for a forward stable, and my goodness, Dave, we have another crazy series with MBL, let the chaos begin. <laughs> yeah, and Ganji, Ganji is fortunate enough to escape with those vills. He still didn't have Loom, right? So he's gonna get that second wood upgrade, which is great for his eco, but like, those upgrades still cost resources, and that's resources you're not putting into defense. Yep. Ganji is going for a market behind this. Hmm. Like He's expecting to just defend this and then try and make his way up to Castleage. I don't know if he has the res available to do that. I actually think in this situation, because M you know MBL's eco is not going to be in a state to go Castleage anytime soon. Mm -hmm. it, players are going to resist this urge, but I think stop producing villagers. Make like two more and just stop and save the food to go up. Because when you're in Castleage, you can make Siege, you can make Monks, you can even drop the castle, right? If you're going to be on stone like this. I think if you stay in Feudal Age for too long, granted you are the Burgundians, so your eco is insane. But maybe you might not find the opportunity to kill MBL. But MBL's gone forward stable, forward tower, scouts, and it's just yep. going to chill in the middle here mining gold. There's just he's only go MBL gold. things. And he'll he'll drop a market fairly soon, most likely, and he'll actually be up a lot faster than any other Civ could be yeah. with Malay. Yeah, true. I like how Ganji didn't even finish that tower; just left it exactly at sixty nine percent. Nice. Yeah, yep. it just leaves it there. Figures I can I can build it if I have to. If MBL comes back, or I can just delete it later and get some resources back. Ganji's Ganji res is actually gonna be okay. Yeah. True. Uh, you could tell, though, that Ganji definitely freaked out when it was MBL of all people on the front of his base. At the end of the day, yep. it was one tower, it was an extra scout, and a spear, and that was it. But look at... And he... I mean, look at what it did, though. All yep. the berries are gone. All yep. that food income's gone. Yep. And he's still he's still sitting here in Feudal Age. Like, he got Town Watch, he's got another villager in the queue, he doesn't have enough gold and to buy his way up, he doesn't have enough stone to sell for the gold he uses to buy the food. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. He's even, he seems really scared too because he hasn't left his base with his scout to see what else is out there. It's like, yeah. it seems very scary for him. He did get town watch though, which I think is a smart play. He is on the way up and he should make it to Castle Age faster than MBL. Having said that, MBL's got map control. He's got vision, which he works very well with. And he is parked right next to these golds. And this is in a normal gold rush game. Every time Ganji's played, it has been a boom fest. He has walked out to one of these golds. He has not had mm -hmm. a player like MBL keeping an eye on him like this. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, like, what is Ganji open with here? Does he does he just go straight into Castilla Yeah, and hope for the best? I think that's a safe play. There is always a temptation, though, to want to drop the second TC. 
I think yeah. against MBL though, the faster you have strong army in the middle of the map, the better. Because he the problem is, is if, if like if MBL has his eco in check, and look at this, MBL is ten seconds behind. Crazy to dude, crazy. right? Like so, that's just the melee right there. And he 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 stopped at one scout added, which is fantastic. And now he's adding in the spearman. But if MBL like has a decent eco and goes for a castle as well, mm -hmm. suddenly you're investing your Imperial Age resources or potential imp resources into Castilier. Yeah. MBL has faster imp up time with melee. Like your castle gets stripped down, you're toast. So you're done. Here's another thing. And there's just so many things we could talk about with this. How many training games do you think that Ganji played where this happened on Gold Rush? Hmm. I'm gonna go with zero. <laughs> I'm gonna go zero to one. Yeah, each. zero zero to one. True. He this forward TC, forward monastery thing, this doesn't happen in normal gold rush games. I think MBL's actually been the most unique, the most out of the box player in the entire qualifier. And there was 96 of the players in the qualifier. So Ganji has to make a decision on how he deals with this now. And if he could drop a castle on that TC, it could actually be amazing. Does he have the guts to do it? I don't know. I don't know. The monastery is up, right? The monks are going to come out right away. It's not going to be in time, though. And oh. the castle will go on that TC, but does that castle secure anything long term? That's a good point. Not really, right? Would you yeah. pay that price for the TC to get your opponent to place their, their castle like so far away from the gold? Maybe? I do wonder what MBL does to save his bills. That's my main concern. Right? Like, he's going to lose oh. one of these. That'll be our first villager killed. He will have a monk hop out of the monastery, so maybe he can get conversions. But MBL's monastery and his TC will go down. And the, the oh, he's blocking with the there. spearman. Did you wow. see that? Blocking with the spearman, dodging the shots from the castle. He escapes with the vills <laughs> and the monks. This town center is going to be very annoying in that the vills will have to, you know, go to the right before they can be safe. But he just drops the second one extremely <laughs> casually. How, how many times has this happened? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, Ganji's going to need a lot of castles if he wants to TC mm -hmm. this one <laughs> or castle this one. <laughs> it's just like, where do you go out for gold if yeah. you're Ganji? Where are you going? It has to be over to the left side. Or you just save up all your gold yeah. from the one in the back of your base and then try and move your way out to the three tile to the right I of mean, your base. I mean, I do think what Ganji's doing here, I think he's starting to shift his focus a little bit. And he mm -hmm. no longer wants to play in towards this messiness. Like, he has to punish it. He's like, okay, second town center at home, great eco upgrades. I'll just go back into my light cap game. So that's what he's doing. And and maybe he can adjust on the fly from there. Uh, Res collected, though, is close. Still really curious what MBL wants to do with his stone. Because he has enough for a castle here, dude. And I think I know, a but castle there, in the middle would make sense. But There's also a potential of, like, unqueuing those six vills, making a castle, and then selling the remainder of the stone and seeing where you're at. True. For resources. True. Because you could go up to Imp, right? And then you have the monks. You have all that gold supply, yeah. so your monks can convert the Castilier. And you, once you push that castle back from Ganji, what is he doing? He's definitely doing Where it, is he way. going? Also, just yeah. like typical MBL stuff, getting housed, right? And building the houses randomly at home. If he makes the main event, many people think this player will be the easiest one to, to pick up on for that reason. I mean, what? this is such a good position. What if you is can this? if you can keep the monk numbers up, this is such a good position. How block printing monks, and you have spearmen to deal with the light cav already. You have a castle for Trebs. This is insane. Yeah, this should be new meta. It's this should be new meta, it's Malay, dude. Man, what in the world? He's gonna be in before twenty five minutes. He has to complete it's, the castle, it... and then he can click up. Tristan, it's new meta until the other player goes one militia drush, pulls in 12 <laughs> wolves, and brings it towards your tower forward. <laughs> and the only player we've seen do that is also MBL. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More monks coming out. Trebs, block printing will be great. MBL just needs to make sure that he has enough wood and gold in the bank when he gets to imp. I've seen that so many times, mm -hmm. right? Now Ganji coming out for a town center on the other side. MBL's going to see that. Yeah, Those I mean, villagers going out there. Ganji needs to remember that he can always shift around these other areas to get gold. He needs mm -hmm. to keep that in mind. And this imp is actually so fast from MBL, while well, it's still going to be scary for Ganji. It actually makes the decision making easy on what you do if you're Ganji. You have no chance at going in. 
it's not even on the yep. card. So you have to just kind of adjust and stay in Castle Age. But just like that, MBL converts one of these unique units. Oh, the Castle that's, that's devastating. not what you would have wanted. No, that's really, really bad. MBL also made sure there was no gaps in his base at home, yep. which is really great. I uh, even added a second barracks back there, kind of taking away the wood he needs for Trebs, but he has enough for Trebs, and he's going to have enough, I think, for block printing here. Trebs, block printing. Suddenly, Ganji, like, he can't even get close mm -hmm. to this army. Yep. Yeah, so you know what would be epic from Ganji, and I, I mentioned it in Dark Age? Forward Castle MBL's base. It just... It, it can allow you to break into MBL's eco, which is mm -hmm. pretty unprotected. But look at this. MBL's like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> so that's uh, what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is so good so far. MBL kind of coming to the hill a little bit with his monks. Here comes Ganji. I like this. I think this is a good play. This is what he has it's to do. It's so risky, bro. It's so risky because there's more spearmen at home from MBL. He's turning around. He's going back. Life is risky, dude. Life is risky. This yep. whole series is just one giant risk. True. So I would love to have seen this castle be more aggressive here, but he definitely knew that MBL saw him. And MBL hoping to convert. He's going to lose his monks, but he can get conversions first. And he does and get the conversions the first. And Oh, God. This castle might be denied. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Those are Castile, a knight as well. The pikemen clearing everything up. Meanwhile, the Trebs are killing the castle from Ganji. Oh, God. He's trying to quick wall this in. He doesn't quite get all the villagers safe, but there's still monks here. I think from MBL, right? Where are the monks? They're well, at he the did back, lose I them. guess. Yeah, he did lose them. So this castle could go up, but you also, you needed this castle to do something more than just sit here and protect the gold yeah. because there's not going to be much that really stops MBL. From trebbing this one down too. What they a crazy build from MBL. He just castles the middle with, now. Karambits with imp armor. Here they come. Yeah, the pikes too. I mean, like that extra armor, like this build really makes use of the melee timings in every way, right? Because the mm -hmm. pikes getting the extra armor is super helpful. I think correct decision here from MBL not to go into the main base from Ganji. Yeah. You can go in there later with your converted units. Just take care of this castle. Take care of the castle early. Then Ganji has to make another one. It's probably going to be defensively. You can just tread that down. Yep. The crazy thing here is Ganji's thinking, he's so fast, I must have a villager lead. He and yeah, you don't. He, he doesn't really have a villager lead. That's what's wild about this. MBL just going to stream Karambits into the main eco to be annoying and tread down this TC and then this castle. Crazy. Malay are just so good if you yeah. play them correctly. If you take advantage of the timings, doesn't matter what map. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super, super good. There is a petard from Ganji, and it's making a run. <laughs> it's like the it's like the orc in the second Lord of the Rings. You could tell he realized the back. petard was there and was like, should I attack? Shouldn't I attack? Should I attack? And the GG's called. What a game from MBL. Jesus. What a weird game it was, but it was so smart. It was so brilliant. The timings, the positioning. He makes it look easy. And uh, if there were, were nerves for MBL... Uh, certainly going to feel a little less nervous after being able to have his way with Ganji in that one. My goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. I mean, I thought he was a little, he was maybe a villager too early on that tower rush, right? Mm -hmm. The eco didn't look great. He didn't have a follow up to it, but maybe that's the entire idea. Like he sent the Vils forward without Loom. He yeah. went up without Loom. Yep. The entire idea is to not have a follow up for that, is to just hit him so early with that tower rush that he has to panic in yep. response because yep. he's not expecting you there. And it's just MBL with the classic, I'm going to take initiative, force you to react, and mm -hmm. then I always decide the next step, right? And even like, you want to say like Ganji's castle was him trying to control the game. But no, Ganji's castle positioning was not where he would have ever wanted it. It was a desperation He castle. only yeah, placed exactly. it because of MBL's TC and his monastery. Like he... <laughs> He honestly should have put it maybe over to the right side yeah. near his uh, secondary gold, right? So he actually has options. But yeah, I, it's, it's still, so MBL's tough. imp timing was insane. Yeah, it's imp time. And then, like, MBL's got all this vision on you, and you don't want to just move out and, and lose villagers there. So I think, like, so much about MBL's play here was just to control the game and get vision on the middle. He used the melee perfectly, like we said, and uh, he takes the first game. But Ganji... He is no stranger to losing some games and still winning the series. He beat Veleza, who many people I talked to thought was the favorite if he were to face MBL here. Uh, mm -hmm. Ganji was able to take care of him, win 3-2. It was an epic series. So 
have a lot of faith in Ganji going into game two now. We are here, game number two. And the last time we saw MBL on islands, he was against the Vikings with the Dravidians. And it was a crazy game featuring landing and forward TCs yep. and mangonels and longboats. So MBL is playing the other side of the matchup now. He's gone for the save that does not get fire galleys, but has ridiculous ranged ships. Now we've got Ganji playing as the Dravidians. Fun map, islands. I think the games have been amazing. Um, it actually has, has surpassed my expectations. The meta, the meta is developing into landings now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, judging on the last game we saw here, Sato against Sobek. I mean, Sato, did you see that transfer chip go to the corner of the yeah, the world? yeah, and then it almost went down to a fire. Like, <laughs> well, like Sobek sailed past it four separate occasions. He never <laughs> killed it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it was crazy. But you're right. The the uh, meta has definitely evolved in the landings, and I think we see landings more frequently when the mm -hmm. Vikings are involved because the Vikings, they want that easy water game where they just mask their galleys and micro them, and it's not easy to control the galleys and mask the galleys if someone shows up to your base with land military. So I guess my thinking is, do you want to make it messy, kind of what we said before, against MBL? Because MBL's actually maybe not a great meta player. Um, and, and he would prefer the messy games. I just don't know. But I'm excited to be I here. I mean, he did lose the last messy game on Islands against Catwatch, right? Yeah. But then again, Catwatch is on par with MBL in terms of messy games. That's that's as true. As we saw. That's true. And Catwatch did that with Vikings. He managed to win with Vikings once he got landed. With Dravidian. So I guess it was a complete, maybe you already said it, but a complete reverse. It was a reverse, of, uh, yeah. Which is kind of cool. And I've seen every matchup play a little play out a little bit differently. Uh, earlier today in the Vinchester Mihai series, we saw the first double fast castle, where Vinch went fast castle longboats, which is a blast from the past, and then it was fast castle mm -hmm. fires from from Mihai. Um, yeah, there's just been really good games, but where they dock normally gives us an indicator on what they're going to do. Ganji Ganji's going forward. forward dock right now. MBL going back dock. Hmm. Okay. I could see MBL thinking like this. Um, he probably won't have a lot of confidence in just the straight galley meta. He will want his fishing ships to be safe, right? And I mm -hmm. could see him just being like, if he lands me, I just have back fish, and I just wait for it and adapt. Instead of trying to go Feudal Age at all, you just add more eco and expect the landing. And go for a little bit of greed, maybe. I think fast feudal could be the worst thing for MBL here, and maybe he agrees. I will see. I, I could also see a situation where MBL is just going to do whatever on islands because he doesn't, he doesn't feel care. like it's one of his best maps. Yeah. 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 I mean, I honestly, though, I would have described MBL's previous game, at least the opening, as this is him doing whatever, and it was brilliant. No, so. Malay are just so good, man. Yeah, yeah Especially yeah. in the hands of someone like MBL. Like, you have that kind of uh, cushion of the extra villagers that you get yep. with the faster uptimes and the armor for the infantry, which really plays into MBL's hands. Yep. And then the faster transitions, I feel like that's a really, really great sieve that people might not be using. Their full potential. Obviously, lots of people are using it. It was drafted first for both of these guys mm -hmm. in this set, but still, that was just super solid. He proved us wrong there, and we'll see if he proves us wrong again on uh, on Islands. I think Ganji is going to go for a water build here and not a landing build. I mean, he's Dravidians, dude. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like a, a mix of landing and water is initially what I was thinking. Um, he's gonna bring in the boar. We'll, we'll know if he gets loom actually, if he's planning on landing. And ah, okay, there's loom. loom. <laughs> I I mean, you could also get loom because you feel like MBL is gonna land you. Oh, true, <laughs> dude. If there's any player to get loom against, yeah, like like yeah. I think loom is just consistent. You should always get loom on on this map before you click up. You would? Do you think MBL it also is gives get you? Loom? I mean, it also gives you time to just build up that food, right? food you're not yeah, spending yeah. on a villa. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so you're right. It might be that for that reason, but he did cancel the fishing ship right at the tail end here, so I think he might transport. Um, MBL ain't getting loom. No way. Yeah, I agree that he probably should. 
MBL, if he were to lose control of the left side of his island, that could be really brutal long term. Because his both of his stones and his gold are over there. MBL is going fast castle. Kanji is going into a landing. Transport ship is on the way. Okay, so Ganji has to try and find MBL's fish with the navy, as well as go for some type of land aggression. It's a mix of both. And I really like the barracks at home, because by the time he makes it to the enemy islands, he wants to be able to make the archery range. And also, building the he barracks forward is much easier to spot. He didn't get loom, dude. He didn't get loom. MBL, what are you doing? Everyone's landing uh, against Vikings. <laughs> MBL. He didn't get loom, and now we're gonna have a feudal scout here, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a Ooh. minute and thirty seconds away from even getting wheelbarrow, which could help running away with these non-loom villagers, but still. Hmm. Interesting spot for Ganji to end up, right? This is the risk with uh landing. You don't know where your opponent is exactly or their resources, which I, I think is good, by the way. I think it adds a little bit of mystery to it, an adaptation. Uh, range? Forward and dock, too. Forward dock from Ganji. That could be really good if he finds out where MBL's fishing ships are, too, and his transport's headed that direction. I like that he's using the transport for scouting. Yep. Now, you are you got to make sure that you're on top of it so that MBL doesn't see it with his dock, so he's seen it now, <laughs> and now he knows. And now he's like, <laughs> let's see if he kills up Loom. Well, I'm he worried. He still has a villager behind. I'm always worried if the player forgets, right? Because sometimes yeah. you're used to getting Loom on most maps. Oh, he's suspicious. Oh, he forgot, dude. He's suspicious. He forgot. He's sending these forward. He forgot. Oh, he, he was going to go market blacksmith. Out. A skirm? A skirm, Ganji? Where's the archer? He's blocking with the Vils. He's trying to engage. He's going to figure out that he doesn't have Loom. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, he's got a queued. Blacksmith now from MBL in a really weird position over there. Quick Wall's in the Vil, though. And the Villagers will have Loom in 15 seconds. Yeah, that's true. Man, if this was an Archer, though, it, like it, it, just one Archer, more could That'd have died so here. Fun. But two Villagers go down, and I think you could consider this worth it already for Ganji. What a crazy game. Skirmishers need to be protected. Scout goes down. Nice job from MBL. Fire galleys from Ganji going right to the fish tape. This is textbook. You take it to land against the Vikings, and then you take it to their fish. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. MBL walling in these vills, though. He's trying to. He's got wheelbarrow. Remember that. Mm. But another villager will die. Presumably to the skirms. Maybe not. Maybe he escapes with a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. Look at how fast he runs. Look at the quick wall there from Ganji. Ganji is killing the fishing ships. MBL is on the way to Castle H. Ganji still has the Vils around, and the transport being here, you can just transport the archers right across here if you need to. Hop in. Okay. He's in? What do you do if you're in MBL's position? He's over. Oh, well, you're going to be in Castle H, so it's probably going to be a defensive siege workshop from MBL, which is, like, number one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's gone for a tower. Will maybe even go up to the stone? No, he docks in the north. So hmm. it's longboats, potentially. Look at MBL. His fishing ships are, like, scouting the front. I think he's trying to get over to where that new dock is going, but I don't know where they're yeah. headed right now. He's clearly busy because of the archers from Ganji, as Ganji again misses a villager kill just because MBL's got wheelbarrow. These vills are about to be a little bit faster. <laughs> Handcart. <laughs> Man, they're already quick enough. God, yeah. just like, get off of me. <laughs> uh, MBL may be fortunate in some ways that Ganji didn't end up on the other side, like we said. If he was oh, surprised oh, there, MB this could have been worse. And MBL saving more. What in the world is this? That's the third one now. Oh my god, dude. That house wall was genius. Absolutely genius. He just bought himself enough space. Ganji is still running around with this archer. This but idle time is so good, to, though. Hand card is about to click. Yeah, what happens, actually? What's the speed of a hand card villager compared to an archer? I think they're the same as the archer now. 0.97, yeah. Yeah, 0 0.01 so faster. So they're slightly faster than an archer. That's wild. Is well. that a transport ship? It's a transport ship, Tristan. It's not longboats. <laughs> we should have known. It's a transport and the siege workshop. I'm not sure if it's going at home. I think it might be going on the opponent's base. MBL is fishing, like, I think he, maybe he's scouting the opponent's island with his fishing ships. That's what he's doing? Yep. Yeah. And now longboats There's being the at transport. it. transport. Oh, don't run right into that fire galley that's randomly <gasps> sitting out there with the fish. 
He's going around. Yeah, Ganji doesn't even know it's there. It'd be extremely fortunate. He's looking oh, elsewhere. Oh, boy. Oh, God. No way. It stops there, oh, dude. Oh, my God. He's <laughs> haunting him. <laughs> oh, man. Now, MVL is going to arrive next to Ganji's fish. So if Ganji's paying oh, attention... Back it up. Back it up. Okay. If Ganji's paying attention, he'll notice it. But he's also micring his archers and trying to disrupt MVL. One scorpion at home from MBL. He does not have the wood to build anything on Ganji's Island, really. Yeah, he, and he's got, like, so many random archers surrounding him right now. Yeah. He is fortunate that he has wheelbarrow. Or I guess that's part of the calculations when you're sitting here with these yep. vills. Yep, agreed. The one agreed. villager has that 2 HP. Saves him again. Yeah. Scorpion is now taking care of the archers, but Ganji's on the way up. Okay, so what I'd like to see from Ganji is you keep the villagers, the forward villagers alive somehow. And the rest of your play is all water, right? That's mm -hmm. the optimal play. You will dominate the game. You will win water. You've got n nine ships soon against MBLs too. The problem is, and we saw this in the Sato and the Sobek game, is if you don't know that MBL is on your Dude, island. He's going to get destroyed by Mangonels. You, like, let's <laughs> just face it. He's going to get absolutely nuked by Mangonels here. Oh, uh, you just... And there's going to be a monastery coming up there. And the only problem is MBL won't have any wood, right? Yeah, I mean, dude, look at res collected. I'm not so sure. Like, if Ganji notices this, he's going to be okay. 9,300 res collected versus under 7,000. That's an insane discrepancy. MBL needs to be patient with this. Maybe you wait mm -hmm. until after you have one Manganel to attack. But then again, the longer you wait, the, the longer you're giving your opponent such a good position. And there we go. He shows him. Ganji knows now. Oh, notices right away. Perfect. Gets a villager. He needed that monastery, right? Yep. He needed a monk to convert or something. He's got the villagers to fight, which is fine, I guess. Scorpion now. And Ganji will go for his stable. Unfortunately, he's Dravidians. <laughs> so, that is, it's quite a useless build. He's got to make there. scouts. I'm not lie. Dude, I mean, if you went for an elephant, it would actually be good because MBL doesn't have monks. But you never want to go elephant because it is so slow. And because the opponent could have monks to convert it. Meanwhile, yeah, scouts from Ganji assumes. on the other side, Dave, are going after a scorpion and are going to get a scorpion underneath the TC. Ooh, nice job. He's made two stables as Dravidians, and now he's getting light cav. Uh huh. Big. He's got the food. Zero on wood right now, though. He needs to get it set up again. He's shifted everything to the south. Yeah. MBL still has these two longboats. Or I guess that's two new longboats. He did kill some fish from Ganji, but not enough. Ganji will have his TC protected. He'll have wood again. Honestly, Ganji with three light cap can clear up the entire landing. And then with the war galley mm -hmm. upgrade, he can still control the water. This is really awkward for MBL. MBL is going to find it yep. difficult to find damage. Even with his micro, I think he is going to lose this. He needs an attack ground with this one mango to work. And Ganji knew it was coming. Ganji microed away from it, expecting it. Beautiful play from him. Villagers still preparing? Okay. Uh, can he can he get a hit on that other light cap? Oh, <laughs> no way! Oh my no, God, way. There's no way! There's no way, dude! This should not happen! Ganji's looking Mega away right around now. Again and again and again, and Ganji's forced to retreat. He didn't kill any of it. What? Oh my God, there's no way. And there's another vill coming from God knows where. And this is just MBL for you. Scorpion's still going to go down. Eventually, this should be killed, and it will be killed. But this has given MBL a little bit more time to hold control over the game. We'll lose the sneak villagers, though, Dave. The siege workshop is useless now. And finally, Ganji clears it up. He's got a big military lead. He's got 22 military. He's got three TCs. And Ganji is poised yeah. to be able to tie up the series here. I mean, MBL is one on food. Yeah. At yeah. the, the whole one on food situation is really bad. <laughs> uh, if you have one on food, the whole hand card thing doesn't really play much of a role as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a game. You can tell though, like, like Ganji played really clean against Veleza, but mm -hmm. MBL just lures you into his type of game. Yep. It just becomes scrappy because of, of the nature of his gameplay. But still, you can also tell MBL really does not have as much confidence or experience on islands. I appreciate the counter landing here, but 
He is struggling now. And there's still well, it's bills kind of from Ganji here. Unfortunate for him and fortunate for Ganji at the same time that Ganji actually did land on that side of the island. Because that when he did land there, NBL was scouting the north. Yeah, yep, yeah, true. The more like intuitive side to yeah. scout for a yeah. landing. Because there's way more space up there. It's kind but of funny still, how NBL, that works. Like MBL needs to get loom before you click up. I think on this map with the meta the way it currently is, unless you're going really fast water build, yep. you gotta get loom. Agreed. Yep, every time. Maybe it's a bit better because of that. Ganji going to build a statement siege workshop at MBL's base, but he does lose one of his vills. Ooh, he might lose another one too. And also, you never know with MBL how many siege weapons he has in that siege workshop. So you don't <laughs> want to ten mangonels. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to leave. <laughs> you have to make sure you have units there. Uh, War galley upgrade would make a lot of this, sense uh, right now for Ganji. MBL lost his transport ship too, but Ganji. I mean, Ganji's just been doing all the right things, right? Yeah. Nice clear up on the landing. It wasn't perfect, but it got the job done. And he's expanding his food eco too. He's not investing too much into fishing ships. Because he knows the longboats are still roaming around. Yeah. So he'll go farms instead, which is much more consistent. Okay, Ganji trying to distract the Scorpion so we can complete the Siege Workshop right now. Both players are looking at this right now. Manganel push from that area when you've just got Scorpion defense would be so brutal for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Still no War Galley for Ganji. I think MBL's got a chance. He absolutely I mean, has a he's chance. He's clearing with longboats. up the fishing ships now on the front, and he's going to clear up this transport ship, I think, too. Yeah. There's the War Galley upgrade for Ganji. But I mean, you... if longboats control the water, there isn't much you can do about it. Yep. Yeah, until Imp. And Imp is probably going to be a long ways away with how this game has flowed. And MBL's got 10 longboats. He is the favorite. Maybe we'll start to feel a little bit of confidence. You never know. So I think your instinct here is to maybe fight back on water. What I realized, and I think Mihai did this in um, the game against Finch, as long as your eco isn't on the shoreline, I actually think making navy right now is a waste. I think you wait until you click him. Yeah. You drop the castle, and then you try and make navy. But making navy now is just going to lead you taking heavy losses, potentially. MBL has another transport. Of course so he's he coming in over again. And, well, he's got a little bit more in the way of resources this time around. Yep. This is true. Could make something happen. MBL's longboats will have Bod Canero. They're looping around the back, I think maybe thinking Ganji is fishing over there, but Ganji hasn't actually done much. He he had War Galley in queue, canceled it, placed another dock foundation, deleted it. So he clearly yeah, is just thinking about booming right now. Bro, he's got 47 place farms, but only 33 on food. Like, his <laughs> eco is ready to go. He, Don't worry. he has tilled the land. Don't worry about it. He's saving those farms for later. Yeah. They won't go bad. Exactly. <laughs> this isn't No horse sim. collar either. <laughs> Hmm, interesting stuff. So MBL's navy's out there. Well, MBL needs the landing, right? He needs to disrupt Ganji, so Ganji can't just freely mine stone, go up to Imp, and come back on water. But what do you even do? Like, what are you doing with these vills when you get there? I guess you have to build barracks or mm. spears against Dravidians? It always feels kind of weird. Dude, if Ganji makes another farm, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I don't, dude, he's abandoned the farms intentionally here. I think it's okay. <laughs> He's lacking wood, and he's got three unbuilt firms. That, that plus chilling, 200 man. wood is going to feel real good for him in a second. Oh, yeah. Stable from MBL. Can Ganji see this? This is MBL we're talking about. He can find a way. Ganji cannot see it. Actually, he can now. He can because <laughs> of the longboats. <laughs> oh. So dumb, dude. It's so dumb. Well. And there's the siege workshop. Let's see how Ganji, Ganji responds to this. He still doesn't have a defensive siege workshop here. Ganji he is, is adding docks at the back. <laughs> Ganji is also adding docks on MBL's side with that villager that's still there. I would completely forgotten about him. He's alive. So that's that's kind of nice. Viking Knight Rush. This is new. But I mean, Viking Knight is better than Dravidian Knight. So <laughs> one of them does exist. Yeah. And MBL, I mean. He's definitely harassing here. Ganji, he wants to shift back on the water. He's got to think about land. He's got a there's tower. a tower from MBL. There's now a castle from Ganji just because of this push. Like MBL finding his way to stay in this game, and it must be worrying for Ganji. I think you're still fairly comfortable here if you're Ganji. This reeks of desperation. Yeah, that that's a fair point. I think 
once, like, the, the good news for you here is once you're on fast fire, if you can get to fast fire, you should shred all the ships and mm -hmm. even, like, most of MBL's shoreline on your own base here. So you have to get the fast fire. You cannot take fights Ooh. before fast fire, actually, uh, but before you have the numbers of fast fires, because that's where you things know, could fall apart. Ganji might lose both of these TCs. That's a fair point. And all this farming space. That's that's a fair point as well. MBO could steal the farms. Why not? Make a mill there. Ganji's got to fall he's back. Going no, fast for, fire's he's going on the way. for fast fire, but like the wood supply for Ganji is just simply not there at the moment. It's not great. Yep. I, I think it's going to turn around really fast, though. Fast fire ship. What? There's, there's going to be 10 of them. Actually, you know what would be crazy? Is he to shot a Castle Age upgrade? Uh, I think it is. I think so. I mean, we never see it. We barely see it in general, but I think it might be a Castle Age upgrade. What about Guard Tower? He did shot in Castle no. Age for MBL. No? No, 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 no. Look at Number this one, you're, the range is going to be terrible. Number two, the damage output is just not enough. Okay. Number three, why do that when you can place a castle? It feels like this area was made for a castle. Uh, mm -hmm. this, uh -oh. this, this castle could be denied. MBL Siege. They see the pikemen. They see the castle. They see the Yurumis. The Yurumis take one of the mangonels. The next one is likely going to go down as well. And the castle for Ganji will go up, which means he can make trebs here. But what a mess right now. It is a complete mess. And MBL behind this is suddenly up to 87 bills. Yeah. Still doesn't have the second wood upgrade, but has had handcart this entire time. Ganji, you know, he's kind of depleting his wood resources on the other side. Yep. And the remaining wood on his island is kind of within shot of the water. So MBL, if he retains water control somehow, he might still have a chance. But still, Ganji is an MBL, not even close to clicking up yet. Yep. And there's a lot of ships that aren't in the right position for Ganji that are, are making their way here. Once this castle's down, MBL will lose all the castle longboats. the north of Ganji's Island. If that transport ship survives. Right now, it's just kind of blending in with the fires. I don't even know where it is. Okay, that <laughs> no, one. Oh, <laughs> he saves it. He saves it. Uh, 8 HP. <laughs> Maybe he castles the neutral island. I mean, if MBL, MBL needs Imperial Age right now, this is to buy time. If he stops producing villagers, maybe he'll have the food. And a castle towards the middle is kind of awkward to trap down if you're Ganji. Yeah, and, and yeah, imp, imp longboats could be good for MBL, but he just doesn't have docks, right? He's just so many steps behind. Mm -hmm. And I've seen these fire ships just kill new longboats so many times next to that dock. What a funny game, dude. I mean, again, to repeat myself, MBL just brings you into his type of game. Win or lose, yep. it's always going to be a scrap. You have no choice in the matter. If you're going to beat the guy, you have to beat this type of style. But I, I not a single relic collected either. Yeah. yeah. Those trebs are very exposed from Ganji. MBL should probably do something about that. Oh, yeah, he just can. clicked them there, I'm sure. He's got the knights as well. Yeah. Well, Castle will go down, but losing the oh, trebs. Oh, it took could... out the tree instead of the Manganel. The treb, it took out the tree. There was a straggler tree. <laughs> <laughs> Manganel actually went down. Treb does go down as well, but the castle falls. And <laughs> I mean, dude, that tree might be important. This is islands we're talking about. <laughs> True. Yeah, you can't be killing your own trees then. Oh, man. <laughs> that could be the meta, right? Start a treb war and then hope they kill all their own uh, all their own trees. MBL's up. He is up. And that castle's great for him. It's a bit weird, but what if Ganji transports the trebs and sits them on the island to treb that castle down? Is that too crazy? Uh, I think you need a castle to support them. <laughs> um, also, kind of a funny thing. Ganji has 18 houses on MBL's island, and they're all slowly going down. I, bro, I've been thinking about that forever, but he's he's perfectly <laughs> fine with the castles and <laughs> stuff at home. I've I've been thinking about that for the last 15 minutes. I keep looking over here. I've seen MBL make a lot of rams throughout his career. This is the best scenario for a ram. Yeah, uh, Ganji might just forget and lose everything there. But yeah, MBL still in the game. Ganji looking to tie it up. Ganji big underdog, but he's used to us saying that. And he's definitely going to try something funky with these trebs. This is either going to be amazing or horrible for Ganji. Uh, Bro, neither player, like Ganji just collected the very first relic of the game, which is usually a focus. And MBL now going for a monastery in the center. Yeah. But that just shows you the state of the game we've been in. Uh. 
<laughs> Dude, Kanji, get back in the transport, man. Get back in. Yeah, <laughs> get back inside. where you want to sit. Oh. Apparently. I mean, MBL's not imp yet. It, it could really work out here if this castle goes down before imp upgrades. MBL's just going to build a castle on another island. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's enough. Bracer, chemistry, Bob's vinegar is probably the last upgrade you want. Yep. Elite longboat is quite expensive, so MBL is not going to be able to save this castle. And Ganji, you know, he made it work with those trebs. He absolutely did. He had the two relics from his starting island, Dave. He can snag one of these relics or more from this island. <laughs> did he lose? MBL lost another castle, I think, to a fire ship. No. I, 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 dude. I, he definitely I, did. I think he did. Yeah, because there's nothing else around. Ship. And he was only building it with two villagers. MBL's down can, stone. Can, can, We'll have to double we'll check that. We'll have to that. mark that down. We'll have yeah, to double we're, check we're that. We're going back. Yeah, we'll end. have to double check that. But he doesn't have stone in the bank. Maybe he sold some of it. But it looks like any sales were a couple minutes ago. He did, you know, he did also place this other castle here. So it's possible maybe that was it. I don't know. But Dave, the longbow count is getting bigger. We don't see anything but fires right now from Ganji. Ganji's castle needs to go up and it will just in time. These longboats are actually terrifying right now. Damn, what a, like, MBL had enough stone for a castle, he had enough to repair it for a long time, and now yep. suddenly, because of one patrolling fire ship, yep. he gets denied off of that. That's so frustrating there, but he's queuing up some cannon galleons, and he's got the longbow numbers, like you said, he's still working away on these houses. I, I'm waiting for Ganji to have not 200 I know, I keep looking. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I, like how, I like how we both just can't stop looking over here. Elite longboat for MBL. Oh, this is a terrifying army. This is really scary. And if you're thinking Thurisidae beats this, it doesn't. No, We've it seen doesn't. it many times on Northern Isles. Thurisidae loses to this. But Galleon, especially on the back of Shipwright, where you have all that savings, Galleon can do it. We've seen that before. Yeah. It's just that the, the sieve that gets Shipwright most frequently is Italians because of the cheaper dock techs. Ganji yep. actually researched that a couple moments ago here. But Keep I'm, in mind... Oh, man. That's, uh, keep in mind that MBL has a higher KD right now, and a lot of that is ships, which cost wood. Yeah. So if we look over at, at Ganji's Island, there's still some wood left over, but that might actually factor in here. 100%. He's, he's taking more efficient trades, right? Like, MBL's got quite a bit of wood left himself, and he's got a lot in the bank. Yeah, you have to turn off auto farm at this point if you haven't already. Auto farm is well, actually on for Ganji. MBL has it off as a standard setting. I don't think he really <laughs> Dude, ever I, has it on. 47 farms auto reseeding is quite bad at this point. With Yeah, that even if you really do have bad. heavy plow, yeah. that's really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. so there's a chance if MBL can get the mass, he could outlast here. But Ganji has had more control of the neutral islands. He's got a bigger navy right now, just slightly. But, I mean, it just 195. Comes... Okay, it, finally the houses going down are paying off. And it's hey, begun. <laughs> maybe he looked and saw his pop was 200 out of 200 and thinks I never need to make a house again. That's an actual factor here. Like, he's almost 200 mm -hmm. pop, or could be almost 200 pop. Ganji needs to pay attention to that. 50 longboats for MBL. Crazy yep. stuff. Just now getting uh, careening. So he didn't have the armor before, but it hasn't mattered because Ganji has never really caught up to this army. As yep. MBL now goes for a siege workshop. Is he going to go... Ram. Siege Ram, like old, old meta. school, like old, old school. This is 10 years ago, Island Meta, back when there was higher ping. Players would add Rams as a tank. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Capped Ram. He's researching Capped Ram in another Siege Workshop. Wow. First time Damn, we've seen dude. that so far. And needs to get the relics in, though. He's got one Monastery at home. Hasn't gone for a monk yet. Needs to get those relics in. 100%. Dave, look at Ganji's pop, bro. Houses are still going down. The houses dude. are still houses going are down. Still going down. The houses are still going down, and it matters the Rams so are much. Shots. Yes, the Rams are going to tank shots, which is actually paying off. MBL's longboat mass is pretty insane. Look at the Ram go. That's worth it. Another Ram's going to come out, and Ganji can't get over 190 pop while MBL's sitting above 190 pop. I mean, Ganji has the relics. He has the neutral islands. This should still be his game. But he hit. Okay, he's making houses. False alarm. He's making houses back at home. But what a crazy, he need crazy him right game. now. He just lost a lot. He just lost a lot of navy there. He's got elite cannon galleon. MBL does not have elite cannon galleon. And cannon galleons 
now with the splash damage, we'll be doing a lot of work against clumped up yeah. uh, longboats. So he has to be careful on that count. Oh, Monk that with a relic the relic died. It was. Monk with the relic died. The relic is still on the island. Ganji only has three. It's about to be four. MBL's dancing. Ooh, that longboat. MBL has 50 longboats. He's Ganji also got does not have 5, the resources wood to make more. In the bank. Uh, how uh, how is MBL doing this? How is he still alive? It's, look at the look at the KD. Yeah, the long that's boats your, are just That's your four thousand. That's your four thousand wood right there. Yeah, just in the KD. This is insane. And MBL, the fact that you're reseeding all of these farms. He's still reseeding farms. Yeah, yeah, and it's just automatic at this point. It's not something he thinks about. And MBL is now in a really good spot because he's sitting right where the production is. So when you're in Ganji's position, you need more army, more navy here, or it's game over. So he's setting all the reinforcements in to the same exact area. He even has the docks oh from MBL's God. side still producing and still sending ships directly to their death. This is oh MBL's my God, game. Oh, dude. Look at the population now. Look at the population. He's 40 pop ahead. How on earth? How on earth? <laughs> MBL was in such a bad spot. He just, it's just, he stays alive. Now, Dave, MBL is about to run out of wood on his island. It's getting very close. Um, this is expected Wait. on islands, but he can always take the neutral islands. I mean, he did, he has sold like 1,500 wood this game. Yeah. He's sold a lot of wood. If you if you page up on that, there's 1,000 wood he sold not too long ago, a yeah, minute true. ago. He just, if you don't kill him off, he finds a way, right? What what is is Ganji saving for retirement or what's going on with the food and the <laughs> lots of food, lots of gold there? No I don't wood. know. Yeah, I mean it's a little no late wood. to say this. I, I'm just worried. Like he doesn't even have the docks, dude. Ganji's losing his docks, and 150 wood for a dock is brutal. Ganji is buying wood right now, which means that MBL will actually get more gold if he chooses to sell some. I don't think there's any way Ganji can take this now. With the way, with how good MBL's he's got to, is. He's got to win this fight, 100%. Even if he does, I don't think he, he can. 60 longboats. Of course, MBL doesn't have the unique tech. I don't even think he knows about the unique tech. <laughs> yeah, I think that would add extra attack to these longboats, right? He's got 33 longboats in queue. Crazy to have that when he and already has 60 longboats. Yep. And every time Ganji places one of these docks, like MBL is, if he puts it up front, MBL's just going to yep. take it out right yep. away. 100%. And, and MBL could always get the four relics as well because he'll have two relics from his island and then two more that are still in the neutral islands. And the forward docks oh, for Ganji God. have actually been so so rough for him. He's focused yeah. and he just doesn't realize his ships are going directly into MBL's navy every time. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be such a confidence booster game for MBL. He's found the new docks now. Oh, no. Such a great job at staying alive. I mean, he lost. We think he lost the castle to a fire ship. He lost his other castles in the middle. He hasn't had stone in, in so long. He was out popped on water for for a long period of this game. He was behind an eco for a long period of this game. But through the power of the Vikings, from a Viking or you know Norwegian, he's making it happen. As he is now, I think officially out. No, sorry, not officially out of all of his trees, but getting very very close. Didn't it tread that tree? <laughs> Could use that hundred wood right now. Oh man! I mean, Ganji's doing the right thing. I think you just have to hope that you can get a big mass and that your units are just better. So, well, yeah. in the north, he's taking a fight he should avoid. But if he could just hide in the corner and hope to get yeah. a big group going at some point, like sixty MBL galleons, maybe it's okay. Done this with no relics collected. Oh, Dave, hold on. Look in the archery range for Ganji. We've got a big raid coming up. Big. Oh, wow. <laughs> Elephant Archer is going to raid what is left of the wood. <laughs> is Fine, MBL's deleting villagers. In <laughs> 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 he wants more longboats. He's got 43 in the queue. This whole ocean is going to be longboat soon. Towers from MBL too. Soup. Lots of trees, lots of gold. Still some relics on the islands. MBL collected too. Ganji ship count higher than before. It's at 35. MBL still 50 with 30 more in queue. And yeah, Elephant Archer is raiding. Shout out to that Elephant Archer. Actually, I think the trees will finish anyways. Ganji needs more ships in this. Ganji's out of res. He's basically at the limit here. He's got the four relics to bring him gold, but that's it. MBL can still mine gold. Crazy, dude. 
Yeah, it's a crazy comeback. Vikings, OP. He went old school, right? He went Vikings on island. He went for the capped ram, soaking damage approach. Yep. Couple was, towers uh, here. Yeah. And Ganji will hope, he'll think like... MBL might be out of res. Too. Yeah, MBL might That's be out of res. Way. It is, uh, in my experience, Galleons actually do pretty decent against the longboats too. Like we had a game earlier today, Italians against Vikings, where the longboats got outmassed. But if if Ganji comes back here and sees MBL dropping farms on his home island, I think he GGs. If you're MBL, drop like eight farms right near this elephant archer. <laughs> Just show him. <laughs> Prove it to him. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my god, look at that galleon spin. <laughs> Dude, this this elephant archer has read books about what this island's supposed to look like, and it looks very different. It is a wasteland. Yep, and now it's dead. And it's GG. Wow. Oh, M my God. MBL somehow wins this game. I mean, in the first game, he took such great control, and he made it look easy. This game, I'm not sure how he survived. I think Let's that collect it. Look at it. Let's it's see. way higher for Gontry. It's the KD. Yeah. MBL took way better fights. Ganji was just throwing ships into him yep. the entire time, and the longboats, well, but, Micra wins the day because that's the resource difference right but there. But also, think about the res collected stat. If you look at the breakdown, he's collected yeah, more resources because of yeah. the food income, Oh my and he God. has yeah. the food oh income because he had auto farm on. So he had less wood collected, which is a big deal, but also invested, we don't have the exact stat for this, a lot more wood into the farms when the food doesn't actually play a role in the late game on island. So I think it was kind of a double whammy there for Ganji. And that, that might be... Sometimes we bring things up and it doesn't actually play a role. But I think in this case, the reason he didn't have as much wood to make as many ships and as many docks is because of auto farm. 42-23. 42-23. What's that? 42-23. You'll know. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. 42-23. Let's see. And did MBL lose a castle to a fire ship in this game? Wait. Did he delete that? Oh, and then he put it... Oh, he, okay. He deleted that, and then he put it at home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. completely... We completely misunderstood that one. Yep, yep. I, I, thought, I, he, remember... I thought he just completely killed the castle. No, I understand why you thought that, because so yeah. much was happening. And I, I did see him build that castle, but I didn't realize the time. So, yeah, he, he didn't lose the castle. Yeah. He deleted it and replaced it. Okay, and, that's uh, better then. That makes sense. Yeah. But seriously, even at that point of the game, 23 on food for MBL and 48 on food for Ganji with auto farm on. I wish I had a stat to know like how much additional wood was invested into getting that food. But uh, another great game from MBL. And unfortunately for Ganji, here we are, game three. Well, when I saw Ganji play this map in the earlier rounds, the games were insane. We had demos, we had TCs everywhere, we had castle drops, and now we have MBL, and MBL <laughs> is likely going to make this even more insane, because this map has delivered, we've had demos through the middle, we've had tower rushes, we've had lots and lots of scouts, and, and just a lot of nerves, I think, are very present on this map because of how open it is, so I'm not sure if you have any expectations, but I've really enjoyed Mudflow. Could you imagine if MBL tried to go for that dock build, how scuffed it would be? <laughs> I could see him trying to go for it with, like, no preparation, didn't even load up the game once. Yep. She's like, how hard could it be? And then he runs out of wood. I think uh, I think he'll come forward with the scout immediately, which we're watching. He might try and lame some of those water buffalo mm -hmm. or maybe an elephant. And then um, he'll just play maybe scouts, maybe spearmen. He could even play, like... Spearman Skirm, it's MBL. Even yeah, if true. you're up against Khmer. Could do that. I think there might be an issue here uh, for Ganji if MBL plays scouts, which is an issue that Khmer have a lot of the time where they don't have a barracks. Yep, yep. And you can't keep Spearman at home in defense, and you're going to have to just keep huddling in your houses, right? Yeah, I, I promise you, because we've had this conversation so many times, and I've always tried to see the player side of, you know, this is why they're not making Spearmen, right? This map, it'll happen, right? It's going to happen. Like, I think the farms are good enough. The um, the house bonus is good enough. Uh, we'll, we'll probably see the stable opening. And then right after the first Scout or two is out from the enemy, that's probably when we'll see the barracks because Spearmen are 100% necessary on this map. There was someone who went for really early barracks with Khmer the other day. I don't know if it was like Daniel or something. I know it was on Arabia, I think. 
Mm, they were in yes. involved in a scout um, war, Sato. and they made Sato. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I, I was, I was mid sentence casting that, going like, you know, the problems Khmer have in a scout war is that they don't have. <laughs> and then I see him drop the barracks. <laughs> I was so impressed. Yeah. I was so impressed. Yep. Because it smart. helped him out a lot. He can just go forward with the scouts, keep the spears at home, and then you're on equal footing. And you have faster farms, too. So, so Ganji has placed a very interesting lumber camp. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. And I don't love the fact that he is directly next to MBL. <laughs> um, but I like the palisade walls. Mm -hmm. And he will probably chop through so these villagers can all kind of go to the same area. But they are mm -hmm. very close together here. So, it's something else I was just thinking about in terms of labbed out strats is... In Hidden Cup 4, it was Game 7. John the Fearless against Ivilo, which was Viper and Hera. We, of course, found out later. Viper went for a dock build. Do you remember that game at all? He opened with a dock and a stable. Um, <clears throat> is... Was that the one where he was like stealing fish traps? No, that wasn't it. No, no. It basically it was a very was it short on game. Flow? It was mud flow. And Viper back then went for a dock, and I remembered some other people's people attempted it. And we've yet to see anyone in the qualifier go early dock and get away with it. So I'm really curious if like come main event time, they have a week and a half before they play, and there's a lot of you know secrecy. What? I wonder if someone will try it. What you got to do with the early dock, you don't put it at home because he'll Ooh, always scout that. True. You go to the side and put it like forward on their shoreline in a yep. place they're never going to scout. And then they're like busy walling up <laughs> to protect against your army coming straight forward. Meanwhile, yeah. your demos are sneaking in from the side and they're like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think Khmer could be a decent sieve to open dock because you don't mm. need the barracks, right? So you could use that wood for other things, but... Unfortunately, if they scout it, like you said, they just wall. Yeah, and then and, the, and the issue with work. opening dock is like the gold isn't anywhere near yep. the water, right? So you're going to need something at home to defend you. Yeah, and your berries are exposed, and once you run out of fish or fish and water buffalo around your TC, you have no food income. Yep. So where are you getting the food income there? You need to make land military. That's probably why. That's probably the biggest reason why we don't see dock open because you're not secure in your own base. <laughs> Look at this what is, what the <laughs> Ganji's like, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole lot of bluffing right there. I'm not, I'm not doing this right now, MBL. MBL's having the time of his life over there. <laughs> uh, well, there's the barracks right away, dude. He even opens with it, to our point. Yeah. And like we said, we think that's smart. Now, they're next to each other here. MBL didn't really know about this. He didn't see the lumber camp. So there might be some confusion. He sees the walls in the outpost, though. Uh, there is a, as you like to say, non-zero chance a spearman gets trapped here. Well, no, no, there's, everything's open. Never mind. I was thinking with that gap in the trees, there could be a problem. There is no problem. There is a spearman now. Ganji will see that. And it will be... Bale's like, let scouts. me out! Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> I okay. don't like it in here! Does that scout escape? Uh, no, I don't think it does. Okay. Would be pretty epic, dude. Oh! Spearman comes in and Scout dies. Okay, well, we're not going to have a repeat of Hera against uh, Doubt on Fortified Clearing. <laughs> oh, man. An interesting Lumber Camp from MBL at the back. He doesn't have faith in the Lumber Camp at the front, apparently. Yeah. Going for a tower to push back Ganji, but Ganji has plenty of places to go for another Lumber Camp if he wants to just casually run away. Yep. He also, if he really wanted to, could delete his palisades and rush that tower down a bit. That's um, risky. Yeah, especially when you don't know what's happening. <clears throat> yeah. MBL does not have a... Oh, he does have a stable, excuse me, and he's got two scouts going along the north. They're actually quite close to each other by Mudflow standards. The more spearmen are going to be needed here. And yep, there goes Ganji. He actually pre-walls with his vills. This is very well played. Shoot this tower down. Yeah, we'll see what MBL does about it. Doesn't really have a path to fight those with Vils or anything. Yeah. And he just backs up. He gives up the tower. So really, really good job from Ganji. I think MBL must have been looking at another area of the map. Because usually he puts he ejects and puts that palisade wall there in front just in time. Yeah, nice job. MBL is not able to build the tower anymore. He wanders home with his spears. Expecting scouts, but he hasn't seen any from Ganji because Ganji has not actually made any. 
He just has his starting scout, which is super weak and still scouting around. Look at Ganji. God. So he gets housed, but then he also says, I'm going to spread these out because I'm Kamur. Dude, the food eco on this map, Kamur is really going to help with it, but the food eco is so brutal. It's, so it's just early. Once you run out, you feel really, really nice with the elephants and the water buffalo. But once you run out of that, yep. there's not much that's safe. Yeah, it's it's not fun. And it's really hard. Like, I think it will take people five or so mud flow games just, just watching to realize how awkward it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But believe me, you're you get to the 12 minute mark when playing this map, and you're like, oh, and <laughs> yeah, my berries are gone. Oh shoot! Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't have any farms. There's no fish to take. Uh, okay. I, I really like what we've seen here, though, from Ganji because he could have tried to squeeze in scouts, but he didn't really have the food eco for it. Instead, he just goes for spears, and he's, he's going defended. For a big wall too. Really, really big wall all the way to that middle wood line. NBL is in with the scouts, but still, it's up against Kamur, and this is the thing that Kamur does. Yep. I love the fact that he added that barracks early. Love it. It's amazing. And the spearmen are giving him so much defense. In addition to the houses, he can get the walls up in time, and he's going to be fine. His walls, funnily enough, are very NBL-looking walls. Like, if this was the main event, we saw Ganji get pop-capped at 35 pop, and now is going for egg walls. So this is a very NBL thing, but it's a very efficient thing to do. And it's mm -hmm. a smart way to wall your base as MBL is realizing this and does not want to allow it, but he's going to run through. But everywhere he goes, man, there's a freaking spearman. Might be a villager kill. Nope. MBL's managed his eco very nicely behind this. He has not been attacked at all. He's up two games already, which I'm sure feels amazing. And still hasn't found villager kill. He really wants one. There's not a house nearby. Ganji! Keep the villager nope. alive now i could see the pathing differences right there those units would have never got away tristan <laughs> on the old patch they would have never got away oh. they would have never been back for this build. great quick wall from ganji fantastic stuff keeping all of his villagers alive beautiful yeah beautiful play i just after i saw these walls and thought mbo and mentioned main event i cannot wait till we see a quick wall and and how people react dude <laughs> yeah like, now we, we know who's who. No one's like, oh, okay, quick wall. Some play A lot of players can do it. Cool. In the main event, your tendency is to be like, ooh, <laughs> that play that everyone can kind of do, but some people yeah. can do better than others. That must have been them. Look at, look at MVL just running through these spearmen. He's like, oh, I'm back here again. Am I going <laughs> to attack? Not this time. Going around. Dude, you need, like, sound bites from the wizard man. Every time there's a quick wall, <laughs> you just have him in the background. <laughs> it's Viper! <laughs> Oh, man. I dropped the Prime sub on him recently, and he said, yeah. guys, AoE Jesus is here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus? I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Oh, man. That clip is hilarious. The, the arena one's just my favorite. My favorite He's part about the like arena a rat clip. in the corner. My favorite part about the arena clip is after the Arabia clip, all the arena people were like, see, this guy gets it. And they thought he was on his side. Nice snipe there. Yeah. And then he also has a hot take about arena. <laughs> Beautiful job from MBO. That's our nice. only villager kill, Good, which is extremely great rare. Great clear from up from Club. Ganji, though. Yeah. Like, great defense from Ganji. He didn't really bite on any of the movements there from MBL. He just kept the Spearman patrolling in defensive stance or whatever they were on. And now he's walled to the edge, too. So, okay, so they have lots of Spears. But, like, mm -hmm. MBL's base is wide open, dude. Two to three yeah. nights moving around is going to be nightmarish for him. He's going to have to protect himself in some way. <laughs> I, or is he going to TC He's coming drop? forward. Yeah, he's going he's he's to TC drop the gold. Yeah. Here. As you do. <laughs> Well, usually, you know, on this map, you don't. <laughs> but it's no, he's not. He's only making a siege workshop. He's not going to TC drop it. He was sending Vils out to the gold. I okay. Think. Well, I was thinking now about would be it, a right? great time for a, oh dock from Ganji. I was just about to say now would be a great time for a dock because NBL's woodline is still open there. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah. It's going to be a long way, but the demo can loop around. Well, I mean, you can just go through your own walls, and in there. Yeah, that's just true. Delete your own that's walls. true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Funnel it right through. No. Um, Ganji maybe a little suspicious. Checking that is really high level stuff, and he will now see this is going to be a siege, 
and a monk push. That is his only gold inside of his walls. He does have another gold, which is available in the left on the left side. Mm -hmm. But uh, MBL's scout not only killed the villager, but gave him vision in there, and he will know that Ganji will struggle without this gold. Yeah, and the second town center going up for MBL with Persian production is going to mean he still retains the villager lead, right? Yeah. Yeah. So really, really solid stuff. However, Ganji is way more secure in general than MBL is. I zoomed out on MBL space. <laughs> it's just like one night, dude. One I know. night. <laughs> and what, that's it. What's so tricky, though, is is you just feel so smothered by MBL here yep. that you it's hard to have the presence of mind to know that you can head to his base like that. Mm -hmm. I love how MBL has just embraced the openness of this map. He hasn't tried to wall it. He hasn't tried to make it closed map. He said, nah, all good for me, man. I'm happy to adjust on the fly. And that tower, maybe not a common thing for the Persians, but it does just help him hold that very important position. And that's a lot of farms. You just cut them off from Khmer farms too. They can put them anywhere. That's not the right place, apparently. Yep. In the front, the camels are in. They can hide in the houses, but... It's only Spearman and Scouts at the moment in defense for Ganji. He has that demo. Still hasn't done anything with it. Damn. Yeah, waiting to see if he will. Like have upgrade on the way. But MBL has camels. Also has Spearman against the Siege. Can you and imagine... Uh, someone using a transport ship and just like having a group of like... Two or three mangonels in the transport ship, running into your eco, popping them out, <laughs> like a taking siege, a shot, like putting a, them back in, <laughs> sailing away, <laughs> like a siege tower with Gabetto or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's a controller player idea, dude. <laughs> I mean, it, I, if the transport ship goes down, that's a high value sinking. But um, it is an idea for it's sure. A, it's a siege tower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at this TC from MBL. I mean, this is just kind of out of nowhere but it is very safe right and we talked about how exposed he is if ganji ever tries to raid ganji's not gonna find too much oh the demo oh my god dude i think the demo is trapped behind Aww. a tree <laughs> it is he had to chop the tree <laughs> okay well he chops he chops the tree he gets it out now can he get into mbl zico i don't know if he can I think it's too late. I think the tree choppage delayed him too much. <laughs> and MBL's got like the biggest AI army of all time. Spearmen, scorpions, monks, camels, a mangonel. Still trying to push in here. Demo can't find any value and MBL pulls away. And MBL's at three town centers against two with wow. versions too. Really solid stuff. MBL, he just, he has this ability to create chaos. Mm -hmm. And so Ganji just feels like there's no potential for any type of counter raid. And, and truthfully, MBL does have camels scattered around at home, so he would be ready. It's just he make, he's making this look so easy here today. And poor you know Ganji's already two here? games down. This is so painful. <clears throat> should make a dock in the pond from Ganji. I don't hate it. Being Persians? I really like it, actually. Yeah, I think and you can insane. heal the villager from behind with your monks from that TC fire. <laughs> We're, I mean, we can really cook with this. We're one, really dude. cooking. We've got siege <laughs> tower, transport type, mangonel, and oh, dude, look at Ganji. He's looking for bills. There's no bills there, and he demos the lumber camp. Oh, oh man. This is borderline outpost rush, but I don't really think it is because he's just trying to get himself some more vision. Yeah, for yeah, the yeah. He here. just wants. He just wants some vision. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and MBL's vision it allows him to see the siege. Like, if you look at that vision now, he could see everything yeah. beyond the TC. Yeah. And he's just like, okay, come break me. Give it a shot. And MBL's probably focusing on other things, and Ganji with a good shot. Shot number one was amazing. Shot number it's two. It's another Scorp. Not bad. Camel's coming in for that mangonel. There's nothing there for that mangonel. There's nothing there. Yep. He just keeps looking for something. There's nothing there. And MBL has kept this mangonel alive forever. He's going to keep pushing in here. Ganji, unable to really find much damage behind. Yep. And MBL is working on his fourth town center. 65 villagers to 56 already. He's got wheelbarrow. He's got the first farm upgrade. Another siege workshop. Oh, my goodness. Ganji needs... If this game continues like this, it's over. Ganji needs his castle. castle. Yeah, and this yeah. castle has to be somewhere of huge importance. Now, I don't know where he would do that or how he could do that. But the demo is searching. Demo? The demo is searching for a spot. It's looking. Sailing. Pending. Loading. Target acquired. 
Uh, oh. Target acquired, reacquired. All right, not bad. Oh, not bad at all. Let's go. And Persian TCs work faster. Persian TCs are just going to send more villagers to the meat grinder there. So keep it up there, MBL. Ganji would love that. But yeah, seriously, Ganji's got 800 stone. I don't mind the TC he's placing. He needs to expand his eco away from this, but... Oh, yeah, he needs a forward castle. Here we go, Dave. He's actually found a really good spot for this. If he can go right next to MBL's starting TC, it could make it really messy here. There's a knight there. There's also three camels behind. There's pikes. MBL's going to know about this. There's what does pikes. he do? What does he do? What does he do? He's he's searching for resources. He doesn't have any of the resources he needs to buy stone. He doesn't have stone himself to drop a castle. Ganji has to be really careful. He doesn't just send these pikes uh -oh. into the town center. Meanwhile, MBL has completely wrecked Ganji on the other side. Ganji lost his TC. He lost all of his siege. He lost his pikemen. No. But the castle's going to go up. Men. Yeah. Ooh, I got an idea. You're going to like this. Okay. So MBL's going to wall his woodbine because yep. the demos. But you make a ballista elephant. And yeah, you and you make, cut it. You cut through the wood and then send the demo yeah, yeah. into the gap. Yeah. yeah. Next level. Yeah, but I'm, I've been working on that idea ever since Ganji got 650 stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's man. going. He's going to so cut the wood. Let's just remember where MBL started and where Ganji started. Because MBL is soon not going to exist where he started. And Ganji has already evacuated where he began here. So, pretty crazy game. Um, the Ballista Elephant's here, doing something. MBL has a 30 villager lead, though, which is insane. Yep. Dude, a doc from Ganji. Uh, where his TC started would be so wonderful. But mm -hmm. he's got so many other things to worry about. MBL's going to make Cav Archers. Really like the Cav Archer play. We've only seen a couple Pikemen in defense from Ganji. Cav Archers should be able to be more mobile as well. I mean, he just doesn't have the resource spread he needs to counter them either. Yeah. 13 on food, 11 gold on gold, right? 39 on wood. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just brutal. not what you want for sure. MBL hasn't killed him, though. Like, he's not actively doing damage to Ganji's eco. So it does feel like we're going to see this game go on for a bit until MBL can find more damage. But, but he the, needs to know where the eco is. Look at the eco upgrades. Like, yeah, yeah. not good for Ganji at all. Not at all. Fortunately, he hasn't spent enough time on his farming eco to really make use of Horse Collar yet. Yeah, true. Because he has to abandon them all the time. But no wheelbarrow, no second wood upgrade for either him or MBL. On any other really map, well. you are genuinely dead. You have no chance. On this map, if you're behind by 40 villagers and the opponent has 30 of them on the swamp mm -hmm. terrain, there is a chance to even it up. So we are going to see a demo or two or three from Ganji, and he will attempt mm -hmm. to, to demo that wood line. But that is like pretty much his only hope right now because I think MBL knows where he is, and MBL is going to start to pressure this eco. Stark was in a similar situation eco-wise against Dogao. He came back, but the thing is, Dogao didn't pressure him at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He let Stark get up to like six, seven TCs, boom himself back in. <gasps> and as MBL is going to lose some cab archers here, maybe. No, I think he snipes that. I think he's fine. Nice job. Uh, difference is, MBL is never going to let you boom back into this. Yeah. Like, he's always going to be on you with something. Yeah, the demos were desperate from Ganji. He probably wasn't looking at them. He's probably looking at the other stuff. But he might not realize he didn't connect there. And MBL massing more and more cab archers. He still has that siege push on the other side, taking out buildings slowly. But he knows that Ganji's pretty much in this area. And like, and MBL's up 2-0. He wins this, he's up 3-0. Feels like we could have a sweep in our hands. Ganji will also know, like, deep down in the back of his mind, that losing here doesn't mean he's out of Hidden Cup, and that he mm -hmm. still has the backup best of seven qualifier on Sunday. He's got demos in the dock. He's waiting. Now you just got to bait him back into these somehow. It's going to be really tough, though. Conversion happens. Could have been worse there for Ganji. Yeah, I mean, if you really need a big demo, you might want to go for... Um, even get the war galley upgrade here at this point. Like, it's that bad. Hey, I mean, you just can't, huh, though. Huh. Ganji? Ganji? That's your chance, brother. Oh. <laughs> well, how do you GG <laughs> when there's an army right next to your dock with demos? At least get the demo hit and then type the GG. 
Uh, well, that was disappointing. And MVL up 3-0 here. Well, kind of an interesting game, right? Like, Ganji, he didn't play that confident with the the open play that we thought he could maybe try with the Khmer. Yeah. He instead opted for defense. Didn't really go for much scout pressure at all. But my feeling is you take those risks, you, you either play more defensive or more aggressive than usual if you're lacking confidence. And I think Ganji's mm -hmm. lacking confidence against MBL. MBL just seems like a really solid matchup for him. And I mean, as I look around this map, MBL was truly everywhere with Eco. Yep. We didn't really look at him expanding his Eco because we were just looking at all the things he was killing from Ganji. MBL making well, it we... look easy right now. He, he is, and he's playing just completely full of confidence, which is beautiful, because that's when he's at his best, right? I, I just, if you look at what Ganji's strong at, he's strong at the walled maps, or the maps where you're really, really close to your opponent. So you're kind of like walling them in just from your early pressure. Yeah. These land maps, uh, kind of far away. Islands was a fluke, definitely. He should have won that 100%. But MBL is just putting the pressure on him, and he, he just can't recover. Anyway, dude, I gotta I gotta head out. I've got a tournament tonight. I gotta play. Okay, do so your thing, I dude. Will, uh, yeah, I'll raid you. Send my viewers over. Thanks for casting these three games. Always a pleasure. I'm gonna see you later. If you want to come back when the score is three three, going to game seven, let me know. Oh God, I'm an MBL fan, dude. <laughs> Don't do that to me. It's entirely possible. See you later, man. See ya. So, Ganji may go for a lot of high risk high reward strategies here because he's down 3-0 and he would need four straight and uh things have not been looking good for him but mbl has picked the mongols and while mbl is actually it actually stands for his initials uh we have always said and we have always many people have assumed that mbl stands for master boar lamer does he try and steal this and take himself into hidden cup five main event Ganji's coming to take the boar because he knows it's MBL and he knows what MBL may try and do. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. MBL's blocking. Can he kill this vill? He's got to dodge the TC. Oh! Ganji saves it. Oh my god, what a save. He used the house and de-aggroed the boar. That was actually beautiful. Unfortunately, Round of applause as MBL is now going to steal a boar in another way. And he is just going to... Is he going to take this boar home? He's going to... Okay. Yeah, he's just going to walk the boar back towards his base and hope to take it home. Now, Ganji sees this. Ganji will not be pleased. And Ganji's not about to give the Mongols and MBL more hunts. So here he comes. If MBL can do this, it would be insane. This villager should die. This villager should always be dead, and the villager's very dead. MBL, I know he likes to lame, but maybe taking it a little bit too far. His scout is weak from before, and he wasn't really able to compete here in the fight. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got round two. MBL, what are you doing? He's going to try again? Okay, pay attention to the idle TC time because this... Oh, boy. Now he's house tricking. He's lost his scout. I mean, they need food back at home, right? And MBL... Are you gonna... Is he seriously gonna house trick this the whole way back home? Is that the plan here? Okay, delete the house foundation. House trick again. How does he make it look so easy? Okay. He's gonna go again. Oh, now Boar's going back. That's bad. What about her? Can she get it? Ganji's got it. Ganji's gonna get the boar. Woo! Great start for Ganji. Ganji has uh, the sheep food income as well from the Britons, which is really nice. Ganji will now have both his boars. Ganji has an additional villager. Ganji has the scout as well to push in the deer. Nice job from Ganji. He did forget to make a house, which is painful, but he didn't lose a villager, and he never researched loom, so he's going to have more to work with than MBL. What can MBL even see back at home? Well, he does know that his sheep are here. He will probably use the sheep to scout a little bit. He has Mongols so he can catch up in the resources collected. But, yeah, I mean, just confidence from MBL. Like, he wants to lame. He wants to slow the game down. Especially because I feel the Britons are actually the superior civ on this map if this game goes late. Mongol Siege could maybe be an answer to a really long-range Arbalest. But on a map that is usually just a lot of fighting through the middle... The Britons can excel. And Britons were the number one civilization here in Hidden Cup four times. 
but we've had like i think a dozen civilizations introduced and obviously some meta changes and balance changes since hidden cup 4 so but we definitely have seen britons more in this qualifier and this tournament than others of the past year or two it's been good to see britons back honestly i think the only other tourney or settings i could think of where we saw britons be semi even rated is probably masters of arena I think Britons can always be pretty good there. So, uh, Villager's bringing in this deer. Villager's going to bring in this deer. MBL just waltzing to the middle. I don't think he is going to Vil Rush. I think he's going to take the deer, but you never know with MBL. We'll see soon. Here we go. The deer's here. Uh, and this Villager will continue to walk forward. Honestly, I think Ganji's taking the right approach here. Don't try a fast castle. Not against MBL. He's going to be coming with another wave. Go for archers or something if you can. And if you can get archers with Britons, start the ball rolling there. It could be great. Unfortunately, did miss out on these sheep so far. Hmm. Okay. Villager is now in the back of Ganji's base. And MBL is going to wall. <laughs> okay, so if MBL's full walled, Ganji may just assume that MBL is going to play defensive. And this villager back here, <laughs> this villager, as I should definitely cue up the Pink Panther music right now, this villager is giving MBL the potential to surprise Ganji. Oh man, let's see what Ganji sees. He's not expecting a sneak. Ganji's going to go forward. And he's going to see MBL walling. And we'll probably be like, well, that's typical. Because that's what MBL does a lot. And that's good for me because I'm Britons. And I can just go archers and pressure the walls and go towards Castle Age. This is so scuffed. Like, this build order is just like... It's so MBL. The mill, I get it, it's probably worth it with Mongols. But everything just feels so random and wild and chaotic. But guys, if he wins this game, if he wins this series, this chaos comes to the main event of Hidden Cup. Which is so freaking exciting. He'll be given a hero, and no one can prepare for him, right? Like, imagine spending a week and a half of preparation, and then you show up, and your strategy just falls apart because someone's got vills in your base. It could be really frustrating, could be really tilting. MBL's always been such a big figure in Hidden Cup, but let's see. I don't know, dude. This just feels like the perfect situation for Ganji. The only way this works is if the sneak works and she's still just standing there because MBL doesn't have the resources to build anything yet. That's a good point. Someone pointing out that Ganji has dealt with a lot of sneak villagers before. So, like, here's, here's how this should play out, okay? So, right now, nothing is out of the ordinary for, um... Oh god, the scout went down. The scout died! No! That is so good for MBL! That is so good for MBL. The scout is so important for if you sense that MBL isn't going to make army here, right? Okay, so you see this tower, you think one of two things. You think um, he's either just full walling and tower defense and going castle age, or... You think he's towering because he's not going to have army here. And normally you would think, why doesn't he have army here? MBL, can you do something with this vill? I'm trying to hype this up. Is he just going to... Did MBL forget about the villager? MBL still doesn't have the resources. I, I guess that's for later. But sorry, in some ways I kind of assumed that we were going to have an archery range go up soon. I feel like Ganji should check. I think Ganji should check, and in a normal game, you should wall the front of your own base. Oh, he's definitely... Oh, dude, he knows. He's like, why is he towering? Why is he doing that? That's weird. Also, the red sheep would add some suspicion for me. I know that was from the, um, the scout earlier, but that would definitely add some suspicion. Okay, so Ganji is checking. He's also going to check the side to see if MBL is chopping through. And there's the villager building an archer range, nice and snug up against the wood line. Oh man, Ganji's checking over here. Ganji is not checking the right area. The sheep has even moved through here as well. No. Ganji, no. 
Like, he knows he needs to check. He knows something is awfully suspicious. He's doing the right thing. MBL is massing archers in there. He's checking. He's being thorough. Looking around. Looking around. Found some sheep. Good stuff. And is this the moment? I think this is the moment. It gets spotted. Now, that was just a patrol. MBL will get the attack signal and realize he's been noticed. Now, MBL probably should attack this archer, but then he's he's alerting Ganji that he's here. Ganji isn't actually getting... Okay, Ganji knows now. Did you see that? I think MBL is actually not attacking the archer because he didn't want Ganji to get the no attack notification. But then when he saw Ganji micro, he realized Ganji was actually microing that and paying attention. And since Ganji knew anyways, he figured, let's go for it. And now here's MBL. And he's played full defense at home with towers... And with walls. So there's no way that Ganji is going to break through. And, um... Oh, he's going to make it messy here. Uh, Ganji had the walls down. He had the walls set. He deleted them thinking he has the army now. He's got to be really careful. He doesn't have fletching. He does not have fletching and MBL is double range. MBL could, could definitely snowball this. But Ganji's thinking, I need my stone for town centers in the next stage. If I don't defend this, I'll have some problems. So he does not want... He, he figures he can defend this with just his army. And he's going to go for a blacksmith now. He was thinking about Castle Age. Crazy stuff, guys. MBL. I, guys, I was so worried that he wouldn't make it to the main event because he's just so fun to look for. And he is one win away from making it to the main event in Hidden Cup 5. Which I know means so much to him, dude. I just listened to him talk about it for months. How he's not happy not, not going as far into tournaments as he has been in the past. And I love the storyline to it as well. Because if he makes it in, he's made it in being the purest version of himself. He has not played more meta at all. He went the other direction. Sneaks and lames and he's just embraced himself. Ganji's on the way to the next stage, though. That is a very MBL tower to hold this position. His micro has been fantastic. And he, that tower is going to be annoying, man. And Ganji's going to add a stable. I really like knights here. I think knights against the skirms and the archers can do well for you. I like Ganji's patience to not give MBL a good engagement here. But obviously, the villager getting through in the first place is really where things started to go wrong. But he's on the gold here. Still, TCs are cheap with the Britons. He can always go for a second TC. Push this back with Siege in a couple nights. And Res Collected's been better for Ganji. MBO just makes you work, dude. It just makes you work so freaking hard. And you make a mistake once, then he will have a position on you, and he will punish you. There's MBL on the way to Castle Age. Also, there's two golds here. It's not like, uh, you know, this gold is one of the other five tiles. Both the golds are here. This is an amazing position for MBL to have long term. And as people who maybe have left and are asking where Dave is, uh, Dave had told me ahead of time he had commitments. So he had to step away. You have to deal with me. Whether I'm casting solo or casting with Dave, there's still the same amount of hair in the casting booth. That was maybe a little rude, but Dave's not here to, you know, defend himself. So, yeah, that which is also why that joke isn't fair. I I'm sorry. Um, Manganels and Knights are on the way. And MBL's sneak villager needs to survive here for this push to live on. There's still archer ranges. The archer ranges can do something, MBL. Don't tell me she survives! Emil's going to take losses here, but she she will hop inside the tower. Now, we'll see how this goes. But the Knights and the Siege, perfect play from Ganji. And we are in a good position to get more games out of this. And for Ganji, maybe to get some more momentum. Let's go, Ganji. Villager's still there. That Villager needs to be killed. Don't... Oh. <laughs> Dude, you can't let that... That Villager surviving's a problem. I refuse to believe after watching the first three games that this is not going to haunt Ganji. Uh, we got a stable going up for MBL. Okay. 
Now, if there was no villager, there would be no stable. And if there was no stable, there would be no step lancers or knights or whatever's going to come. And then siege workshop, potentially. Behind this MBL, we'll drop a TC. He's getting bod canero for his one tower, which is pretty much already gone. Um, and his range units, I guess. And cav archers. Okay, so he's going to go cav archers. Got it. Villager now going to run away. She has been the key to it all. And Ganji, though, playing a game that we were expecting a little bit more from him today. Clean defensive play against aggression. He can do this. It's just gotten so chaotic for him. He doesn't know about the stable! He doesn't know she built a stable! He does have monks back there, but here come the step lancers, and Ganji immediately house walls to block it off a little bit. An MBL pokes down the siege. What? Ganji, extremely unlucky not to get a conversion there, but that's monks for you. The monk could still advance forward. And oh, okay. Well, the monk was like very close to finishing a conversion there. <laughs> and uh, wait a second. Where'd the Vil go? I think the Vil died building the tower here. I was paying attention to the monks. I think she's dead, guys. So whatever her name was, <laughs> just as dead. <laughs> she dead. Nice villager lead for Ganji, MBL. Still the one controlling the game. Are you freaking kid? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Are you serious? I thought that was Walt. MBL saw it. It was a hole, and he has simply walked forward to do this again. Oh no way, dude! <laughs> and I, I have no clue if Ganji notices that. And if Ganji doesn't notice that, like, he's not ever going to expect Siege. MBL's built a house here. He's he's made a stable here. He's made archer ranges here. He's going for a Siege workshop. This is like... MBL might as well make a town center here. He might as well make a university here, a monastery. I mean, this is crazy. All these crucial buildings are in his opponent's base. I, there, he is banking up stone. I doubt he'll build a castle with one villager here, but... Man, I mean, Ganji is going to be so annoyed. I, I I assume he thinks that's Walt. Um, it, It's tough for him to find an engagement right now. He's got Britain Knights. Plus two, two step lancers he converted, but... There's cab archers, there's archers. There's enough there from MBL where Ganji cannot engage against this. MBL drops TC number three at home. You know what's, what's actually OP about MBL and a forward villager? You run out of things to build, so you just build houses. And MBL he hasn't got pop capped as much because he always has that forward villager building houses. MBL did rewall at home, so there's no potential for a counterattack here. I think Ganji's looking around to see if there's anything happening in the middle. But MBL with a disastrous play, at least for Ganji. A sick attack round, which is what he's known for. And Ganji, I feel so bad for the guy right now. I feel so bad for the guy. This is brutal. And he's probably like, huh? Where did that come from? How? He probably he doesn't know where the siege came from. He doesn't know how the siege is getting repaired. He might think MBL has a whole base over here. And also, this TC is at the bottom of a hill, which may which has allowed MBL to get some really nice hits. And it makes it even more daunting of a task for Ganji to go up the hill and Ganji loses his siege. He wants to drop a castle to defend himself and clean this up. He's going to lose all of his monks. He's going to lose his knights. Will the castle go up for Ganji? Ganji, no! Ganji! Castle has to go up for him to have a chance. But I think it will go up. But I think MBL recognizes it will go up. And that castle is huge now because you can take this gold... You can take this gold. You can actually make longbows, which I think can be, you know, it's one of the units of choice for Britons. MBL 72 villagers, Ganji 84. He has defended so much this game, but he's defended well, let's be honest. Honestly, one of the rare times. I think that players, if they have knights in these instances, like Ganji, should be thinking about building a lumber camp and chopping through. A counterattacks in MBL's eco. There's a Step Lancer there somehow. Could be really strong. Step Lancer just wandering around. 
Stone walls from Ganji to funnel a lot of this pressure towards the siege. Step Lancer goes down to a villager or the tower. I think the tower. Yeah. And MBL's full boom. He gets another amazing trade here with the siege. But Ganji also gets nice, nice hit. And Ganji defends very nice. Well played. Yeah, if you can get enough longbows with that range, you can kill anything. And then snowball that towards a castle in the middle and Trebs, it could be impossible to stop the Britons. Even for the Mongols. Like, the Mongols thrive on mobility more than anything, right? But res collected is extremely close. And to MBL is as TC this middle gold, which to me is quite bold, but he kind of felt like he could do it. MBL is full vibes right now, right? Like, he... <laughs> He's just going with the flow. <laughs> None of these games have been normal in any way, shape, or form. He has tried to turn it into a chaotic and messy game, which is precisely what he did against Catwatch in the previous rounds. And he has leaned into everything we say about him as a player. Bod Canero on the way for Ganji. NBL going to build a very defensive castle as he will prep towards him. That's a really good castle spot. I also like how he's bringing the relics home. I also love how he was never getting pop capped when he had the forward bill, but now the forward bill is dead and he's super pop capped. So we're going to see how this is going up. And uh, that's just, that's MBL for you, man. Again, forward bills maybe should do every game. Maybe should be part of the strap. And honestly, at this point, you just go forward bill, you don't even do anything with it. I think people are going to freak out and think you're, you're doing a lot more. Okay, Ganji is idling for Imp. This is interesting. This is an intentional idol from him to get to Imp as quickly as possible. He stopped producing Vils. I think this is the correct play. MBL also clicks up to Imp. And that will mean that he'll be an Imp faster. Ganji still really struggling to get the res to do so. He's close. Ganji hits the shot. Ganji, do not go Imp in this TC. Yeah, he goes Imp in this town center, which should be safe. MBL snagging relics from the middle. MBL dropping stables. MBL also massing rams. He has six spears, four skirms, three step lances, three monks, one archer, one mangonel, two rams. And a partridge in a pear tree. Like, <laughs> just so many different types of units, man. You never know what he's going to send at you. And he's going to get cab armor right now. So... I don't think he's going to commit to more Step Lancers. I think it's going to be just Light Calf, maybe? To play in towards Hussart? Because to raid, right? Look at him walk in here to get a Relic. This is open. So I think if you can just go Cav Raid, normally this is walled, and it's impossible to do that, but that's not the case here. Ganji is, is super bracing himself. I think he is worried that he would lose the Trebor if he goes for a forward castle. So he's really bracing himself for a big attack, but he was not expecting the front of his base to be open. MBL researching fervor from the forward monastery so that monk can take the relic faster to the defensive monastery. I love that. And he's going to grab this relic too. So MBL will have all the relics. Ganji has gold here. People asking about his gold. He's got plenty of gold. He's got 6,000 gold to work with, and obviously win big fights, you take all the gold in the middle. That is a lot of forward houses for MBL. MBL has 28 houses outside of his main base. He doesn't have any houses in his main base. Oh. Uh, now, Ganji's going to drop an outpost here. I think it would be incorrect to cut through as the Britons here. You're a slower Civ. You want that to be closed up. You just don't want MBL to be able to chop through there. Yeah, actually, getting the Nomad tech those that know what that does it's it's one of the more useless unique techs i would say not that mongols need a better one because mongols are already really good but might actually be a good idea if ganji starts to push oh guys it just it feels inevitable to me i ganji did just wall in mbl's vill so we salute ganji for that even when he's down 3-0 he is going to quick wall and we appreciate it but he doesn't have halb yet and if he gets into Longbow Halb, it could be good. He's just spending a lot of time over here. 
Now, like we said, he's really bracing himself. He's rewalling this. He's going to build another castle. He's like, I am Britons. Try and break me here. MBL's buildings are going to go down. MBL's got tons of gold. What? What is this? This is an AI. This is a... We've all been attacked by this before. This is not... This is not Hidden Cup 5 main event. This is an AI. This is a bot, bro. <laughs> MBL. <laughs> it's so effective. Just like it is against you, you know? That's kind of funny. Uh, that villager and how MBL can't build an outpost through it. But here comes Ganji. I mean, Ganji's gonna see this and be like, huh? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. Uh, <laughs> Ganji's still just trying to clean this up. Now, this is where MBL losing houses can become a problem, like we joked. But he's building up a massive amount of buildings towards the middle. He's making so many hussars. He's prepping Trebs as well for a push. And I, I would like to see Drill Seedram. I think Drill Seedram would be epic. Ganji's gonna go Onager, and Ganji's gonna wall it up. Ganji is not ready yet. He wants to stonewall the middle. MBL should never give him enough time to do this, right? Hussar should be coming through soon. Again, who knows what happens with this over here. That archer's gonna lock down the gold and the stone, I guess. And another one? What? Is that an even... An he sends another vil through! Dude, just chop the trees, bro! Just chop the trees at this point! What are we doing? Sneaky guy. There's one line of trees here if you want to get through the real way. Or, the, you know, a normal way. Oh, wait! Wait, wait! That vil chopped wood. Oh, he misclicked onto a tree and it dropped off wood at the TC and walked back. <laughs> That's funny. But forgive me for assuming MBL did that intentionally. Here come the Hussars. And Ganji's up to a crazy army type and army count right now. But the Onagers are expensive. And these Hussars are not. The Hussars are so strong with the Mongols. And MBL not only kills some Onagers, but forces Ganji to friendly fire. And we have Seedram and Trebs and everything waiting for him. Ganji, do not chop these trees. Ganji, no. Can you hear it? Can you hear the choo-choo? Ganji... Choo choo, the train's coming through! The speedy rams are here! Oh man, I, I feel for Ganji at the moment. I mean, he's played amazing, right? He's played great. Islands could have maybe had the win. Choo choo! Oh no! Oh no! Ganji could kill his own longbows! Oh, Ganji realized. He almost killed his own longbows, but now the rams just roll right into town. And one of my favorite unique techs in the game, Drill, is paying off here against the siege. Boom. Another onager goes down. Trebs could go down next. Meanwhile, Hussars and Siege Rams are over here. What an epic battle. Siege Ram, one of the killer of the Britons. It is so tough against with all these range units and all this siege to kill Siege Ram. And probably the best Siege Ram Civ. Maybe second after Celts, depending on how you look at it. Oh, it's doing him in here. That's That hurts so much. MBL is so close to breaking through. He is through. He is through. The Hussars are in. And Ganji. Ganji, this is painful. He wants so badly to be in the main event of Hidden Cup. He's performed so well here. But it is MBL's time. He's been waiting for this. And he should just be moments away from the GG call that will send MBL into the main event of Hidden Cup 5. He'll be one of those heroes. He will maybe be the easiest player to spot, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Does Trebs move forward? Is the castle here will be Trebbed down? Hussars are sniping every Onager that's out there. And I'm hearing rams everywhere. I mean, I don't even know where to look. An in-your-face castle from MBL to protect this area. Ganji's still having that fight, having that grit, still having that determination. Maybe thinking the longbows should be better now that they're elite. But he will not have castles to produce longbows anymore. And yeah, the, the onagers will go down. All this eco is exposed. This is certainly over now. No one wants to resign when their population is 170. It's not a bad feeling. You feel like you should always fight on. And maybe Ganji a little dejected right now after all these games. And that could be part of this too. 
But MBL will walk in, snag that relic, says thank you very much. And he will have actually have all five relics here in a moment. And this, it's just the Siege Rams can't be stopped. Full Siege Ram Hustler from MBL is pretty crazy stuff. And like, finally Ganji gets the left of his base back. And now MBL is just taking the, the right side. And the guy's just not stopping here. Buying yet another castle to drop next to this TC. Which means almost certainly he will ram down all of this. Funny thing is, Ganji's pop hasn't actually dropped any lower than what it was at three minutes ago when I thought he was dead. <laughs> it's still at 170. <laughs> which is a surprise, but it, it does feel like it's going to teeter here. And we're just like one moment away from him losing everything. And the GG's called. And MBL back in Hidden Cup. Let's go. That is a sick result for him. A sick result for the community. Because I can just tell, man, everyone's excited for him to be involved in the main event. There was some worry, especially in the group. He had to go through some big players. Round one, best of three. A YOLO player who could do some crazy things. He was able to win there. Then against the Max, former Hidden Cup 2 finalist. To beat Max, he was able to get the job done there. And then he was able to beat Kapoch before this series where he beat Ganji, who of course beat Veleza. And MBL does qualify for the main event of Hidden Cup. He will be one of the... 16 heroes in the main event in the randomized bracket with new maps, new slightly different settings with the sieves. It should be crazy to see him bring the chaos. I remember teaming with him a couple years ago. And after we won, and I felt good about myself, MBL said, T90. And who brought the chaos? And I was like, you did, MBL. And he was like, you're damn right. He brought the chaos here in Hidden Cup. Holy crap. All right, so there's the eco just to sum up this game. There's the eco, 63,000 resources collected. And MBL, his approach was simple. Sneak, go for crazy nonstop attacks, and behind it, be untouched, right? Like, we barely looked over here. We never showed MBL's eco, because that's not where any of the fights are being taken. Those fights are being taken over at Ganji's side. So MBL qualifies. Now, <clears throat> um, the positive here for Ganji, and I'm going to show you the list of all the players in the main event now, now that we've got... An updated list on that. Ganji will have a second chance in the second qualifier. We'll look at the bracket here in a second. Um, but Ganji still has another best of seven on Sunday against the loser of another best of seven. I forget who he could potentially play. But uh, MBL will be... Uh, or Sorry, MBL's in the main event. Ganji still has a chance, okay? Um, but um, sorry we didn't have a scene fully prepared for this. I think this is actually a good way to do it for you guys. Just to give you the updated players in the main event. This should work fine. Those are the players in the main event as of now. We have to determine the next six. Three more will be determined tomorrow. And then on Sunday, again, it is all the losers from the other sets. They will play against each other. And they will determine the final three spots. So it still could be Ganji. It still could be the other players who lost today. Which... Again, I guess I can talk about it at this point. Mihai and Sobek, okay? But uh, crazy games today. The quality was amazing. I loved it. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm so thankful, guys. Seriously, here are the words that come from my mouth. I'm so thankful for you guys, okay? Thank you. The level was so fun today. The, the level was even greater. Um, and if the, the level of the qualifier and the hype from you guys uh, thus far is, is a sign that of anything to come with the main events that the main event's going to be amazing okay